Journalist Jackson Gostel is with us tonight. Now, Jackson, you were in the audience at Trump's town hall tonight from Greenville, South Carolina. We know his strong policy points on border, economy, crime. What other topics were discussed and were there any main takeaways from tonight? There were some voters in the audience who asked specifically how he's going to appeal to the voters who are turned off to him because of his name calling and so forth. Uh, he said it was an interesting question, but ultimately, um, he said that he believes he can win over those people because they have seen him deliver results before. He also talked about a potential vice presidential pick, saying he looks for somebody who has presidential qualities in the event that something happened to him. Major speculation right now that maybe Tim Scott's in the running for that, especially given that Tim Scott joined him on the stage uh, later in the program. This was all pre-taped. It's airing on Fox News. Um, but yes, I was there covering it, and there was a lot of enthusiasm and energy. And it's interesting because Nikki Haley, who, by the way, is very much far behind Donald Trump in these South Carolina polls, was holding an event uh, just not too far away in Greenville as well, where this town hall was taking place. So both of them in the same city competing for media coverage. I think we both know who got the most coverage today.